Northern Health and the local RCMP will be joining forces in the near future. A new program will be launched in Prince George, designed to lessen the load at University Hospital of Northern BC. The idea is to give police a new enforcement tool and help the mentally ill all at the same time. It will be a new relationship between Northern Health and the local RCMP, one that is more familiar in places like Vancouver and Surrey, connecting a mental health clinician with an active RCMP officer to provide enhanced community services. So that partnership between the police and a mental health clinician, uh, usually a nurse, um, really can significantly create far better outcomes for, for these people, get them connected to other resources, not bring them into the hospital if they don't actually need to be in the hospital. The concept of CAR 67 is not new. It is one of the coroner's recommendations from the Greg Matters inquest. Use of force expert John Mackay testified at that inquest about the increasing number of mental health cases police forces have to contend with each and every day. But it's becoming a revolving door for the mentally ill. When they, they become involved in street drugs or they just get depressed and they start self-medicating or they just go through a bad time and they come to the attention of the police, our goal is to take them to get some care. Well, we take them to the local hospital because there's doctors there and they turn around and let them go and it doesn't matter where in this country it is. The ever-growing concerns around mental health and the health care system became more pronounced late last week when a doctor in Penticton was badly beaten while dealing with a mentally ill individual. It's got to be a health thing and it's turned into a police issue instead of remaining where it was as a health issue and people have to, our governments have to spend money and say we're going to do something about this to help these people. I'm not saying you know throw them in jail. Jail's not the place for them. The corrections facilities are full of people who have mental issues. It's not helpful. They need treatment. They need care. Northern Health says this is not the first time it has partnered with the local police but this program will enhance that relationship. This is a partnership with the police. I think we've worked with police as much as we can within the existing resources. This is a tremendous opportunity to put something additional in place and the, you know, RCMP have been a very active partner in the planning. We do have other community services. This is just a, an ability to strengthen them and to actually put more resources into, that, into those community services designed for these people. Northern Health is instituting other measures, such as an intensive case management team to provide more care in the community for the seriously addicted and mentally ill, and implementing a psychiatric liaison nurse function in the hospital's emergency department. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.